guys, welcome back to Beautico. So today in this video, I am going to be showing you this makeup look right here using all my current favorite products that I showed you guys in my previous video. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'm going to link it right here. So go ahead and check that out. Today I have created this beautiful like a burnt reddish orange look right here. And I love the way everything has turned out. All the products just are so good. So yeah, if you all want to know how I achieve this look and how my current favorite makeup products perform please keep watching but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time I upload a video now let's get started okay so let's get started I'm gonna first moisturize my skin and as you guys must have seen in my previous video the current moisturizer that I'm absolutely loving is the Clinique's Moisture Surge now on my oily skin this does not feel sticky oily whatsoever it's an amazing moisturizer and it's very lightweight it has a gel like formula and all of that good stuff going to move on to primer now the primer that i have been using is this one this is the color bars flawless finish primer now this is a silicone based primer and it does a very good job of filling in the pores and making the skin super duper smooth and also keeping my oils at bay and i do apply this only in my t-zone for foundation um i didn't mention this one this is the k beauty's hydrating foundation i think that's what it's called i don't understand where do they write the names on this at least on this foundation there is no name i think it is called the hydrating foundation and i'm in the shade 155 y tan now i particularly like this foundation because it's actually light to medium coverage it's not like a very full coverage and it looks like skin and it just has this very skin like texture to it it does not cover that much but it does cover enough uh, that my skin doesn't look like overly caked up so what i like to do is i like to take like two pumps of this foundation i'll dot it all over my face and blend it out with a beauty blender and then I'm gonna just blend it out with my beauty blender. This is the first time I'm actually using this. This I got sent in a PR uh, from Bobby Brown. So let's see how this works. It is absorbing quite a bit of the foundation. Look at that. It's actually absorbed the entire foundation. So. So as you can see this foundation looks beautiful it is on the glowier side but trust me this does not make me oily it looks beautiful on the skin very skin like and it's very lightweight as well that's my husband making coffee i don't know if you guys must have seen my instagram i am obsessed with coffee right now i am loving it so i've been making a lot of coffees i'm trying coffee art as well which is Oh, almost like a fail for now but let's see what happens in the future but uh, yeah so now let's move on to concealer for concealer I showed you all two of these concealers that I've been loving this is the Born This Way concealer in the shade sand and this one is the Clinique even better all over concealer in the shade toasted weed now this one is more of a natural looking concealer and it is like a full coverage one and this one is also a little bit on the full coverage side but it does have like a soft matte finish it's not like super hydrating looking but still looks amazing on the skin so today i feel like using the bond this way because this is my holy grail concealer if you guys haven't tried this one out i highly recommend you guys to try this out and i just like to apply it right under my eyes where i have dark circles right here and right here and a little bit on my eyelids around my nose on the bridge of my nose forehead mouth and if i see some spots i like to cover it up with the concealer itself mm -hmm. 
Now, before I go and set it with my powders, I first like to apply a cream blush. I have been obsessed with cream blushes. I have so many of them. The one that I recently purchased this and I instantly fell in love. You guys must have seen it. It's the Max. I think this is called Blush Please Glow Play Blush. And the shade is Blush Please and this is what it looks like. So I do like to apply it with my beauty blender itself. So, I'm just gonna take it on the butt of my beauty blender and just gonna stamp it a little bit upwards so that my face looks a little bit lifted. So, the entire thing is about placing the product right. And a little bit on my nose. Love to apply it on the nose. Next, I'm gonna set everything very, very quickly because I don't want everything to crease. So setting is really important for that. I am thinking of using the Maybelline's Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. Love this till date. It's been years since I've been using this. The other one that I actually love is the K-Beauty one. You guys must have seen this. This I like to use on an everyday basis when I'm not doing like a full coverage. Uh, look where I'm actually using foundation just concealer for that I like to use this so I'm just gonna bake under my eyes on my t-zone and the rest of the face I'm just going to press the powder into the skin and I'm just gonna quickly brush it I don't want it to sit for a very long time on my face Next, I'm gonna do my brows. For that, I am using the Miss Claire's Eyebrow Cake. Again, a holy grail product. This hasn't been replaced by any other eyebrow products out there. I always use this because it's super easy. The color is on point for my eyebrows and I like to use my Faces Canada Eyebrow and Mascara Brush. And I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna quickly shape my brows. Okay, now let's move on to eyes. Now, as I showed you all in my current favorites video, I absolutely love this palette by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette, and this is what it looks like. Uh, and I did use this on my wedding as well. So, this is one palette that I absolutely love. The other palette that I showed you guys was uh, this one. This massive makeup revolution palette. It is like an eyeshadow palette dream. You get all the shades that you would ever need in this palette, whether it's neutral shades, colorful shades, black. I think there is one black, right? Yeah, but it doesn't have like a matte black. It does have like a shimmery black, which will look absolutely stunning on smoky eyes. So I'm confused as to what should I do. So I think I'm going to do something that I like to do on a regular basis and I will wear on a regular basis so I'm gonna do like a burnt orange winged eyeliner kind of look this neutral burnt orange kind of shade and I'm gonna apply that in my crease the brush that I'm using is from NYX this is the 16 number 16 brush Look at the pigmentation, look at the blendability. Everything is so on point. Next, I'm gonna use this beautiful burnt orange shade right here, which is on the deeper side. Look at that pigmentation. It's beautiful and it doesn't even have fallout. Great eyeshadow quality. 
and I'm blending this out with my Pac 107 brush. Okay, I just feel like adding a little bit more red to it so that it matches my silky red shirt right here. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this color right here as you can see and I'm just gonna mix it with this eyeshadow that we just applied and on my lower lash line I'm just gonna take the same brush with the, the reddish orange shade and I'm just gonna brush it under my eyes I don't want too much color just a little bit of it to tie the lip together Then on my inner corners, I'm actually going to use this beautiful golden metallic shade right here and just like that in the inner corners upwards. Okay, and the last and final step is eyeliner. So I showed you all two eyeliners. One was this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury's rock and coal iconic liquid eye pencil this is a beautiful dark brown eyeliner i love this one and the other one that i like is this one this is the Too faced better than sex easy glide waterproof liquid eyeliner now this is your basic regular black liner black pen eyeliner super duper black very long lasting but today I want to go in with a softer eyeliner so I am going to use this one, the dark brown one. Just going to use my brush and make it sharp. So my two absolute favorite mascaras currently are these two. This is the Maybelline's False, the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Amazing. It's waterproof. It gives so much volume, so much length and it does curl my lashes. I absolutely love this one. And the other one that I am loving is this one. This is the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. Now this one is not waterproof but again this is a beautiful mascara. So much volume, so much length and it's super duper black. Both these mascaras are super duper black and they do not flick of course. So I'm gonna use this one today, the Maybelline's Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. that just one coat gives me so much length and so much volume imagine if I apply two three coats what it's going to be like but I'm not gonna do that because I am applying false lashes today after a very long time okay so the false lashes that I'm actually using are by Rene these have been my favorite lashes uh, and the style that I'm using is fine Sasha beautiful natural looking fluttery lashes let's move on to bronzer now for bronzer i showed you guys two bronzers that i've been loving one is the sugar one and the other one is this one this is the bahama mama bronzer and um today i think i'm gonna use this one because i want a little bit more of a chiseled contoured look and the brush that i'm gonna be using is this one there's a pro art pf07 brush right in the hollows of my cheeks look at that it instantly gives a shadow That's a beautifully contoured nose. Okay, now I do like to go ahead and apply a little bit more of a powder blush on this. So, uh, I showed you guys two of my absolute favorite blushes. One was from K-Beauty. This is in the shade Soft Nude. This particular shade is my 
favorite. The other one is also of the same color family, uh, more on the mauve blush nude side. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Chic cheek to chic intense version and this one is also something that i love using it's super pigmented so i have to be really careful while using this but today i'm gonna use the k beauty one because i feel like this look calls for a little bit more of a warmer colored blush take a little bit on my brush brush it off on my hand so that the application is really smooth I'm just gonna get it a little bit ahead, not too much. People are not creating that exciting highlighters for me, I feel, but the one that I love that I tried recently and I've been using it is this one. This is the Pixie by Petra's Glossy, no, Glowy Gossamer Duo in the shade Delicate Duo, and this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful highlighter wing very very intense so a little bit goes a long way so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use a, a mixture of these two actually and apply it right at the highest points of my cheeks and this is look at that that's a beautiful highlighter it's very intense but at the same time it looks like you have melted skin <laughs> Okay, before I go in with my lips, I'm gonna set my makeup with the Pat Micro Finish Makeup Fixer. This has been another favorite of mine. Super fine. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm gonna be using this one. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is the matte one. I don't know what its name is, but the shade is Walk of No Shame. This is like a beautiful, like deep maroon but more on the wearable maroon side like has a hint of pink to it morphs to it and looks very beautiful so this is the one that i'm using but before that i'm gonna line my lips with the kiko milano's smart fusion lip pencil in the shade matita labra This is the finished makeup look using all my current favorite products. I love the way the makeup has turned out. It's so glam but yet so wearable I must say and I think it's perfect for a date night as well. I know you can't go out but you can go on a virtual date so yeah you have a look for that. Anyway let me know in the comment section below how you guys found at this particular video. Did you like my current favorites? What are your current favorites? I would love to try them out. And also, if y'all didn't like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go now and I'll see y'all in my next video very soon. Until then, bye!